Grand Rising. Divine Shockers here. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, October the what? October the 5th? Is it the 5th? Girl. It is the 4th. October the 4th. We are already four days into October. And wow. Wow. What what a month already of just like waking up even more to realizing things um realizing your worth realizing how amazing you are realizing how worthy you are realizing that the world is at your fingertips that the universe bows to you man man we are gods and goddesses i say i just really wanted to come to you guys this morning because i really felt like somebody needs to hear a word of motivation a word of encouragement um, a word of love, a word of peace, a word of balance. And, um, you know, a lot of us, we are so, like, caught up in the daily grind of the hustle and the bustle and paying bills and stress out about money that, you know, we forget how to live. We forget that, we forget that living is what we were put here to do. Um, as I stated back in my video, when I told you guys that I quit my job, like we were not, we were not made by the universe to work. Like we were not made by the universe to stress. We were not made by the universe to have all these worries and shit that we have um, now. And um, it just really, like, it just really, uh, ever since, like, I would say, like, ever since, like, a year ago, I finally realized that. Like, I cannot stress myself out about bullshit. And granted, you know, people are like, oh, well, you still got to live in the matrix and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. I'll still live in the matrix. But the more I stress about certain things, the more that those issues are going to come to me. Um, like I always tell you guys, the vibration that you put out is the vibration that you'll receive back. So if you're, if you're putting out stressful vibrations, you're going to receive that very stress back on you. Okay? Um, y'all gotta understand that, you know, you're so powerful as an individual, you're so powerful, um, as a human and man, like, you know, again, it's just, it's so much, <clears throat> excuse me, it's so much more to life than just paying bills and freaking stressing out and, you know what I'm saying? Like worrying about, you know, what, what, what's going to come next or what's not going to come next. Like, you just got to live your life. Like, have you just ever taken a week just to live your life and to not worry about anything? It's not easy. Um, it's really not easy. I'm, I'm not going to say that, you know, I have perfected these skills because I do still worry about money. Um, you know, I still do worry about finances. I still do worry about... the hell? Um, I still do worry about, you know, the, the petty things. <laughs> in life you know what I mean but at the end of the day like like I always tell people it is what it is it is what it is and we just got to deal with the cards that we are dealt number one but also number two like that's why I truly really try to incorporate and implement magic into my life on a daily basis because magic is not the cure-all but it definitely is like a way to ease up the tension ease up the tension um, in your life. Another thing that's been helping me is that I've been working out. Um, you guys could probably tell that, you know, especially my face, man, I am slimming down. My legs, my stomach area is slimming down. And one thing that I do um, recognize is that we are what we eat. So if we put, you know, if we're continuously like eating, um, you know, meats all the time. And I mean, I'm still, I still do eat meat. I was vegetarian at one point and then I, I kind of okay um so the only thing that I eat now is just chicken chicken turkey and fish that's all the meat that I eat um and some of you guys may criticize me I really don't care <laughs> sorry um you know eventually one day I will go vegan I think more so once I get stable um in my own home in my own place and I'm really able to meal prep and do the things that I need to do even I'm not making excuses, but I'm just being absolutely real with you guys right now. Um, once I get into a more stable environment and I'm really just, again, able to flourish 
on my own and do my own thing, then I know definitely I will more so transition. Um, and it's kind of hard when, you know, your child eats, your child still eats meat because Kennedy eats meat. She eats everything. Um, you know, I don't really stop her from eating meat because my mother didn't stop me from eating meat when I was growing up. So, you know, I want her to be able to make her own choices. But at the same time, you know, I do like, I've cut back on her sugar intake. You know, she likes to eat like all these snacks and stuff. Um, and so I really just try to, I, I have, I should say, I have cut down um, on her sugar intake, which has really, really been helping, um, especially with her ability to focus. But anywho, so like I was saying, you are what you eat. So, you know, pay attention to the things that you're taking into your body because that's really going to also affect your vibration. Because again, if you are eating, you know, low vibrational foods, i.e. processed foods, you know, fast food, all of this shit, like I don't, I don't eat fast food. Like we don't, me and Kennedy, we don't go to you know, McDonald's and, and shit like that. Like the only fast food restaurant that I may go to every now and again, maybe like once a month is Chick-fil-A. I fucking love Chick-fil-A. I'm sorry. And their salads are the shit. So that's normally <laughs> what I get when I go to Chick-fil-A is their salads and Kennedy will get, um, the chicken strips. But, um, working out is so pivotal, has been, I should say, so pivotal. And I want to do a separate video on working out and the things that I, that I am currently doing, um, in order to, you know, increase my energy, increase my overall positivity in life. Um, y'all, y'all will be amazed at what working out for just an hour a day will do for you. All right. And I don't want to hear, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. You, if you make time for every other thing in your life, then you can make time um, to work out and to self-care. Working out is a part of self-care. And that's another thing that really elevates your attitude and your overall positivity and outlook on life is, um, oh shit, what was I saying? I can't even remember. Oh my God. Oh, I hate this. Oh my God. I just lost my complete thought. Oh my God. Um, Okay, let me backtrack. So yeah, working out, <laughs> self-care, there we go. So yes, yeah, self-care um, also will heighten, you know, your your positivity, um, your overall happiness for yourself, about yourself, about your life. Um, you know, just as simply as going to get your hair done or going to get your nails done, um, you know, going to get a massage, going to get a facial, going to buy a new outfit, going to buy new shoes. like. Um, I feel like, you know, as naturalists, we tend to be so minimal that, you know, we forget that we forget to um, to really enjoy the pleasures of life. Um, you know, I don't really get I, at first, you know, I was like, oh, you know, let me let me be this natural person. And I am very natural. But, um, you know, there's some people that are like super natural. And I'm just like, OK, I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. Um, but, you know, sometimes we miss out on because we're so focused on like depleting ourselves from everything that the matrix has, um, you know, that we tend to forget again to to begin to enjoy the pleasures of life. So anyways, you guys, I am. Uh, I am about to hit the gym. Um, I'm going to do a separate video about me going to the gym and all of that good stuff. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that life is too short to be out here fucking stressed out and worried about the man, um, you know, worried about, you know, where your next bill money is going to come from, how you're going to pay your rent next month. Um, I mean, I get it. Yes, you know, you need to take care of your responsibilities. But at the end of the day, again, our our life is not built upon like we're not we're not put here just to do those things like you got to get out and do more things. Take get out here, take risks, um, have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't feel bad at all at all okay have that cheat day go out and drink that bottle of wine with your girls like let your hair down a little bit go to the club go twerk a little bit like you don't have to be so motherfucking serious is what i'm trying to say it's it's really not worth it it's not worth being so goddamn serious that you start to lose your damn self okay but anyways i love you guys so much um happy thursday i will be let me see. If I don't post this video before the money spell video, I will be posting a money spell video for you guys. Um, new moon is on Monday the 8th. So I will be doing um, 
a tarot reading for New Moon in Libra. And don't forget that um, my tarot class is this Saturday, October the 6th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're looking for information on how to get into the class, it's all in the description box below. I have already sent codes out to people that are in the class. So if you um, did purchase the class, you should have the code in your email, okay? If you purchase the class and you don't have a code, please comment down below and let me know. But please check your emails before you comment down below, okay? Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, also, I am doing my tarot special for the month, $25 for the entire month of October. And then also, I have a three-month spread um, for $35, which I think is more worth it than doing um, the one-month reading. And, I mean, that's that's at an amazing discounted rate. If you guys know my price list um, and my services, that's a really great discount based off of my prices that I normally have. Um, and I will be revamping and redoing my price list um, coming up for the new year. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, what else, you guys? Um, if you want to see like workout videos, like actual like workouts that I do, um, let me know. Like even though I've been only going to the gym for since August, like I've been in the gym before and I stopped. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys. I'm going to actually do a separate video all about like the things that I eat, my diet, all that good stuff, um, and why I actually started going back to the gym, okay? Um, so yeah, like it's it's definitely, you got to, I'm going to tell y'all, you got to have patience, um, the patience of Job, as the Christians would say, um, and you got to really have faith in yourself. So as long as you have those two things, um, you can make anything fucking happen in your life. Believe that, okay? But anywho, I love you guys so much. Enjoy your Thursday. And I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.